Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. This is Mainframe Tutorial CICS Part 7. So in my last video I was explaining about the map, how do we code the map and uh, what is the, uh, what are the, how do we define a map uh, with the various steps. So once the map is defined, so and we discussed about uh, uh, physical map and symbolic map and how it is different so in this video I would like to tell you about uh, symbolic map structure and how do we enter into the online and that is uh, how do we execute this map onto the online screen okay so for example I want to develop this screen this is my screen where it is having this uh, two uh, two fields which is one, one is employee ID and phone number in the same way I mean as discussed about uh, to in order to develop the screen so this is a, we need to define a map in the same way we, we designed yesterday I mean uh, in my last video so so these are two fields which are enterable fields with the employee ID and phone so coming to the symbolic map once you define your map and you uh, you compile this uh, uh, compile this you will getting a physical map and a symbolic map so symbolic map is uh, uh, stored in a one of the copy library of uh, that is maplib so so when when you open this copy book this would be the structure of this so this is my map name map name so it is uh, i indicates that input okay so by default uh, it will be having pick up filled with uh, filler class with x of 12 and uh, it has it has five it will it will be created with five five different fields length field it will store the length and field and it redefines the attribute and uh, here is the actual input input variable employee number or employee id input uh, with picture of x x of 6 it stores the maximum six byte. In the same way, uh, for phone, for phone number, it would be created with a pick of x of phi. In the same way, field. In the same way, it redefines with attribute and with uh, it stores the input. Here is the actual input. These are the input field, length field, f attribute, and f. So. In the same way, this is this whole entire thing happens in the input area and coming to the ma out, so it stores the which where uh, it stores the actual output. After processing, you need to send it back to the map. So coming back here, so here you will be having with the uh, input is now redefined with out. So pick off x of twelve and x of three, whatever we got it over here and. Uh, with the phone number three okay so these are uh, copied over here and uh, employee id output the same x of six uh, in map if you are giving pick equal to in comma out then it will create two these two variables out uh, i mean i mean this is out and uh, in so if you are if you are giving only pick out pick is equal to in it will create only the input fields well since I have given both in and out it is creating the output so now employee ID out so in the same way uh, the for phone number out so all together we will be having f it will, will create four different kinds of field let us see what each field defines if it is with i it indicates that it will receive the input data from the screens whenever the user enters the data on the screen so this is retrieved and stored into the input field so here is my employee number so it stores a value over here okay that indicates i indicates that receiving the input from the screen and in the same way we have employee id o so if i want to throw the output uh, some somewhere uh, my employee id is stored in some of the database it retrieve the data and if i want to throw the same into the output so so you can go, uh, throw it using out variable so the same is the case for o so this is how 
this stands for output output process output value stored under the screen so length it returns the length of the text enter uh, a indicates attributes used to override the attributes mentioned during the map coding and f indicates a flag byte so that's it this is the complete uh, symbolic map structure so this is this is may this is also important when you go uh, for an interview so it's very frequently asked mostly asked in interview so once uh, the compilation execute compilation execution i mean uh, this is uh, once your compilation is done so this will be the i mean map so after compilation Oh, what is what are the steps we need to take it so I mean how do we enter into online and what are the activities we need to do and uh, what 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 are the steps we need to take care so we need to enter into the logon logon to CICS so once you enter into the logon CICS where it's a black screen appears with a CICS and everything so then clear the screen so now first we need to follow the three steps that is define install and view before you test this is this is mainly used for testing of the map if it is working fine or not then we go into the programming and then we do an operations over there so how do we define the map set and a group so first you need to define your map set as we know the hierarchy of a map so map set map set is followed by map map is followed by the fields so first step is to you need to define the map set so CEDA define map set map set name and you need to all the map sets and all the maps should be stored in a particular group so for that's the reason I am defining a group called test since I would be using a test environment so I am using my group name as a test it might be it depends on the group it varies if you have if the multiple teams are using the mainframe so they will be easy giving with a certain particular group and they would be uh, defining their maps in that particular group once you click and enter I mean sub type and enter so you would you should get a message called define successful that indicates that your map set is successfully copied to define define into this particular group next you need to install the map set on the same group so DCEDA install map set MATP CST and group TST1 enter so now the installation has been successfully done so next step would be you need to view the map in order to view the map now the map set is already registered into the group so you need to send the map CEC I send map map name and map set name just enter once you can enter your map will be displayed that's it no, this is this is how uh, we define a map. Uh, we install a map and we view the map. And uh, these are all the various uh, properties of the symbolic map. So that's all for today. I'll be coming up with more and more videos on mainframe, and uh, we would be looking into the details and uh, what happens when we actually defined. There would be a different kinds of table where it gets registered all the maps at, and we call it as a program control table, PCT, FCT, file control table. So we have the various set of tables where it uh, gets registered and. Uh, it gets executed so we will be looking into the more details about this and uh, also we will be coming i will be coming up with more and more videos about uh, how do we how to display the map to the user i mean there are different ways of displaying the map to the user that would be the manual display and uh, and another is the using the application program so thank you for watching this video have a great and wonderful day